Bina has just been speaking to us about the power of big, bold prayers and how nothing is too big or too overwhelming for God to manage. How if we truly utilise the power of prayer, we would never hesitate to bring those things that cause us the most challenge. But what about the small things? Those everyday cares that may seem menial, those challenges that we face day to day that perhaps seem insignificant and not worth bothering a big and powerful God about. Because surely we should be able to cope with these things on our own, right? Is God even interested? Does he care? The good news is that yes, he does. The Bible is clear that God is interested in, in us. He is interested in a relationship with us and that he actively seeks after us. There are a multitude of stories of God pursuing us, starting in Genesis 3, where God pursued Adam and Eve when they tried to run away from him after sinning against him. In Matthew 18 and Luke 15, Jesus told the parable of the lost sheep, where the shepherd leaves his flock of 99 and goes looking for that one missing sheep. Again in Luke 15, Jesus tells us the story of the lost coin, where the woman searches high and low to find her lost coin and rejoices when she does. These are symbolic demonstrations of how God seeks after and pursues us. Even Jesus' mission was to seek and save that which is lost. In Luke 19 verse 10. Therefore, as Sarah Geringer so beautifully puts it, because God pursues a relationship with us, even the small things in our lives matter to him. Let that sink in for a minute. Because God pursues a relationship with you, even the small things in your life matter to him. If only we truly grasp that, how much we mean to God and how he can do so much more through us and in us when we pray than simply just answering prayer. Our relationship with him deepens, our love for him grows and our need for him is realised as the care he affords us affirms our worth to him. We can often become so consumed with our own abilities with our own strength, that we forget that God knows our frame. He knows our limitations. And that is why his word promises that he is always near. Psalm 145 verse 18 says, the Lord is near to all who call on him in truth. And we know that truth. I first recognized the nearness of God and how much he cares about the small things in our life when I was eight years old. Every Thursday, my class would go swimming and I dreaded it because I hated swimming. And one particular morning, we were gathered by the side of the pool, me and my fellow anxious classmates, when we were told that our regular teacher wasn't working that morning and instead we had a cover teacher. Now this cover teacher was clearly very used to dealing with confident swimmers. So he soon gave us direction that we were going to line up and then one by one we were going to jump into the pool, swim to the end and back. And my heart sank because I couldn't jump into the pool. I certainly couldn't swim five metres, let alone 25 metres. And here I was at the front of the line with this teacher with his whistle in his mouth about to blow, signalling me to jump in first. And in that moment, I did the only thing I could do at that time, and that was to ask God for help. And as I finished saying amen in my head, suddenly our teacher appeared. The teacher that wasn't working that morning suddenly appeared and sent him away and went back to taking our class the way that it should have been taken. It was at that moment that I realised that God was interested in the small things, including the small prayers of an eight-year-old. So I encourage you, no matter how old you are, what stage you're at in your life, 
If you're in school and you're stuck in your homework. If many months from now you're in an exam and your mind goes blank. If you're worried about where you're going to park at the weekend because it fills you with so much angst. If you're worried about that meeting at work, even though you don't think you should be because that's your job. Let me assure you God is interested and he cares. Have you ever noticed that when we ignore those small panic signs and we convince ourselves that we can do it, that we're powerful enough, that we can and we should be able to sort this, that those things gradually build up and then one day we wake up in the middle of the night feeling like we're sinking or we walk around with a permanent weight on our shoulders. Not only is that not healthy, it's bigger than that. That's pride talking. It's a form of idolatry as it means we take our eyes off of the one who holds us, who can carry all our burdens. And instead, we create this illusion that we can do this on our own. In Matthew eleven twenty nine, 29, Jesus said, take my yoke upon you for my burden is light. Why are you carrying burdens? You don't need to. Hand them over to him. He can take the load no matter how small that load may seem. Ultimately, every load we carry is small to God. He has continued to show me that the small things matter. At work, when facing a challenging decision, or at home, when I can't find my keys. Sometimes, those small prayers prayed in faith are big enough to move mountains. Those small prayers that are perhaps more intimate, humble and ordinary, still matter to God and still allow us to draw closer to him. Yes, he knows our heart. Yes, he knows what we're facing and what is going on in our lives. But something changes when we trust him enough with the small things in our life as well as the big things. How immense it is to consider the fact that our small, ordinary, day-to-day -day worries matter to an infinite, powerful, almighty God. And when we bring those prayers and those cares to him, not only do we trust that he hears, but that he cares and that he will respond. So as I finish, may I encourage you to give him all of your worries, your cares, your challenges, your trials, no matter how big or how small, because God cares about them all.